To install G20 with a fuel filter kit and M30 meter on your truck bed fuel tank, apply thread tape to all threaded joints, including bung adapters, suction pipes, and hoses. Then, install the included bung adapter on your fuel tank and tighten it down with a pipe wrench. Next, install the gasket and suction pipe on the pump. Extend the suction pipe to its full length and install the pump on the bung adapter. Then tighten the pump's spin collar with a pipe wrench. Next, using a 4 mm hex wrench, attach the nozzle holder to the pump. Next, add the O-ring to the pump outlet and install the quick fit filter adapter to the pump using a 5 mm hex wrench. Install the fuel filter and O-ring on the filter adapter. Then install M30 on the outlet port of the filter adapter using a 10 mm crescent wrench. Next, attach the hose to the hose adapter and install the O-ring and hose adapter on the outlet port of the M30 using a 5 mm hex wrench. Tighten the hose with a pipe wrench to avoid leaks. Then attach your GPI automatic fuel nozzle to the hose. To permanently connect the power wire to your truck's battery, feed the power wire down through the gap between your truck bed and cab. Then secure the power wire with zip ties at regular intervals underneath the truck along the frame. Feed the power wire along the firewall and up into the engine bay. Route the wire clear of the exhaust or moving components that can damage the wire. Next, terminate the negative power wire using a ring terminal, crimping it securely. Then crimp the positive wire to one end of the butt connector. Strip one third inch of insulation from each end of the included fuse and crimp the fuse to the other side of the butt connector. Next, terminate the other end of the fuse wire with a ring terminal. Ensure the power switch on your pump is turned off. Then connect the negative power wire to your battery's negative terminal. Finally, connect the positive wire to the positive terminal. To temporarily connect your pump to your battery, you can use our optional battery clamps. To install battery clamps on your power wire, strip one and a half inches of insulation from the fuse wire and the negative wire and twist the strands tightly. Then, remove the insulator from one side of each battery clamp and slide the insulators onto the power wires. Insert the strip fuse wire into the positive clamp and the negative wire into the negative clamp. Fold each stripped wire back to the crimp joint on the clamp and crimp the wire securely. Next, 
Next, apply flux to the stripped wire and solder the wire to the clamp. Then reinstall the insulator onto the clamp. To connect the battery clamps to your battery, ensure your pump is turned off. Then connect the negative clamp to your battery's negative terminal and the positive clamp to the positive terminal. Your pump is now installed and ready to use. If you have any questions, you can call our support line and speak to a USA-based product support representative in our factory that will assist you with installation, maintenance, repair, and warranty questions. Thank you for choosing GPI.